In this question, we're told that the heights of a group of athletes are modelled by a normal distribution with mean 180 centimetres and standard deviation 5.2. The weights of this same group of athletes are modelled by a normal distribution where the mean is 85 and the standard deviation is 7.1. The first thing we're asked to do is to find the probability that an athlete chosen at random is taller than 188. And then next, we're going to find the probability that a randomly chosen athlete weighs less than 97. So let's start by defining these two distributions. So just writing it into the normal distribution format. So height is going to follow a normal distribution of 180 for the mean and 5.2 for the standard deviation. Weight, this mean is 85 and the standard deviation is 7.1. Okay, let's get a quick sketch for each of these. So the mean is 180 over here on the heights and the mean is 85 over here on the weight. I'm just gonna add in the arbitrarily large and small limits. And now let's find these probabilities. The probability that the height is greater than 188 means the person's quite tall and 188 is over here on the right hand side. So I already know I'm looking for a small probability, something smaller than 50%. We can use the NCD cumulative normal distribution calculation. The minimum we're interested in, 188. The maximum we're interested in, 1000. Standard deviation and the mean. Our calculator gives us an answer of 0 0.062. And as we expected, this is a small probability, smaller than 50%. Okay, so a quick sense check to get us on track there. Part B wanted a weight that was less than 97. 97 would appear on the diagram over here on the right hand side. And less than 97, well, this shaded region is quite large. It's going to be bigger than 50%. We're expecting an answer larger than 50%. The probability that the weight is less than 97, according to our diagram, the minimum we're interested in is negative 1,000. The maximum is 97, standard deviation is 7.1, and the mean of 85 into our calculator and we get an answer expecting a large answer here of 0 0.9545 and that once again passes the sense check yes we were looking for quite a large answer part c of the question leads with assuming that for these athletes height and weight are independent find the probability that a randomly chosen athlete is taller than 188 centimeters and weighs more than 97 kilograms okay if these were independent, we can use the test of independence, that relationship that is true for all independent events. We know that if two events are independent, the probability of one of those events multiplied by the probability of the other will always equal the intersection or the probability of both of them happening at the same time. So in general, probability of A times probability of B equals probability of A intersection B. In this question, Event A is the height being greater than 188, and event B is the weight being greater than 97. So in notation, in set notation, this is what that would look like. So since we've been told they're independent, this statement should be true. The probability that the height is greater than 188, we've already got that. The probability that the weight is greater than 97, be careful, this is not what worked out before, it's the complement of this, so it's going to be 1 minus this probability we worked out earlier. So 0 0.062 multiplied by 0 0.0455. Okay, two quite small numbers being multiplied, and that gives us 0 0.0028. So the probability of a randomly chosen athlete being both taller than 188 and weighing more than 97 is 0.28%. Part D asks us to comment on the assumption that height and weight are independent. So this is gonna need us to respond in a sentence. Height and weight are independent. This means that one of these variables doesn't have any impact on the other. So somebody's height doesn't have any impact or influence on their weight. I don't think I agree with that. Taller people are much more likely to be heavy than short people. As you grow tall, your height increases, your volume increases, 
usually your width increases, so your overall weight is going to be more. So I don't agree that height and weight are going to be independent. So that's my thought process. Let's just write that into a couple of sentences. And I'm just gonna say here that height and weight are correlated. As one of them increases, the other one's going to increase. That, that, that's true for, in general, for people's heights and weights. So since they're closely correlated, it is unlikely that they can be independent. I can be more firm than that and just say they are not independent. But taller people are much more likely to be heavier, these two variables are not going to be independent variables.